thank you for letting me eat your tacos and drink your beer. It feels like any other Saturday night. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Scott and Kim Ober uh, for raising two amazing daughters and doing your best for Ryan. We all know it was an, we all know it was an uphill battle. <laughs> Abby, you look spectacular, and Ryan, I'm, I'm surprised you're not wearing camouflage. <laughs> but it's an honor to be Ryan's best man. Um, I didn't see it coming, uh, but besides being Ryan's best man, I'm also Abby's older brother. Uh, oldest and best brother, yes. <laughs> uh, please know to talk Ryan, I appreciate it. Um, growing up with Abby was, was an absolute pleasure. She was a delight. She always stood out. Um, she was always so much more mature and wise than myself. Um, sometimes it felt like she was my grandma instead of my 12 year old sister. Um, yeah, funny you mention that. Um, besides, um, but being her older brother also had his downsides as Abby was um, very bossy, always been very bossy. I don't know if you can still be bossy if you're always right, but she was very bossy. Um, she never liked that term. She preferred the term leadership characteristics. Um, and Ryan, she still has those leadership characteristics. <laughs> she does. But we all know that Abby um, was destined for a special future. And with that special future would come a special man. Um, she's so bright and intelligent, we thought that whoever it would be would have to be an intellect, a thinker. And she's so gentle and graceful that we thought she would, whoever it be, he'd have to be tactful and perceptive. <laughs> and she's so stunningly beautiful that we thought that he would have to be stunningly handsome. So we were all confused when God sent us Ryan. <laughs> but I, I, I can't say much because I helped actually introduce Abby and Ryan. I was having a party at this very house and I wanted more people to come. So I texted Ryan's older sister, Darby, and said, hey, having, we were friends. I said, hey, I'm having a party and um, I bring Ryan with. My sisters will be there, Abby. Hashtag Abby is single. Um, I've never sent hashtag on a text before until this day. Um, and became, but um, I'd like to confess I never intended to set you two up. You see, Abby has always had very high standards. She doesn't just date anyone. She is one of the best friend zoners I have ever seen. And I've seen my fair share. <laughs> but needless to say, Abby and Ryan started talking and, and texting. And, and by texting, it means Ryan would text Abby and, and Abby would sometimes barely respond. But this is where our family got to see some of Ryan's characteristics of his persistence. And even though Abby said maybe to her their first date, um, Ryan persisted and he has continued to persist to this day of pursuing my sister. So I thank you for that. Um, but as they started dating, we also got to see more of Ryan's characteristics, including his very high self-confidence. Um, about six months into them dating, our family received a group text from Ryan um, with a picture of a very large man driving a motorcycle, Harley Davidson. And at this time, my dad also drove a Harley Davidson. And the text said, Terry, I didn't know you were driving in Prescott today. Why didn't you say hi? <laughs> All right, bold move, we'll see how that plays out. Um, but my dad, not to be outdone, replies says, with a, a picture of a very fat baseball player <laughs> fishing in a boat, and the canoe is at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> and he says, yeah, I saw you fishing too. Do you catch any fish? <laughs> So the joke's all over to everyone besides Ryan. See, Ryan doesn't know when to stop the joke. <laughs> so Ryan texts Abby and I individually and says, hey, can I send this text to your dad? We both read the text and we say, absolutely not. You cannot send that text to my dad. So Ryan, being the good listener he is, absolutely did send that text to my dad. It is a picture from Talladega Nights with a, a picture of Ricky Bobby and the quote is from Talladega Nights. The quote goes, Terry, the only thing you've done in your life is had a hot daughter. That's it. <laughs> and this was three months of knowing that guy. Three months, yeah. <laughs> so I had two thoughts running my head. First, I'm offended on behalf of my father because he also has a very hot son. <laughs> Secondly, I'm thinking, wow, hashtag Abby is single again. <laughs> um, but we all know that's not true. Um, I guess because at that moment, Ryan felt like he was part of the family. 
And to tell you the truth, it wasn't long after that that we felt like Ryan was part of the family. Um, Ryan, I think the first time I felt that you were part of the family is when our family went on vacation and you didn't come. Um, thank you. <laughs> and while we were gone, you came and mowed my dad's lawn. And that said a lot to me. Um, and really, I really appreciate it. Even though you broke two sprinkler heads, it caused a lot of extra work. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I want to thank you. Um, we felt like you were family for a long time. Um, Bo, Noah, and I have considered your brother for a while, even though we've never admitted to your face. Um, and I also want to thank you for giving me hope, because you have shown me that an average man can date and marry way, way up. Hashtag leave a single. <laughs> Without further ado, I'd like to you guys uh, raise and grab your, thank you, words, words, uh, grab your glasses and raise, the, raise them to my brother and sister, Mr. and Mrs. Abby and Ryan Oberg. Hey, let's give them all a big round of applause.